Hey guys, Eclipse25 and Archer9234. With episode 87 image review, today we have the Power Ranger Samurai, the Shock Zoo, and the Shock Attack Red Ranger, aka the Kuroi Origami from Samurai Sentai Shinkenger. Alright, so now we have the fifth auxiliary Zoo in the Samurai toy line. Now, this Zoo was actually shown in the Clash of the Red Ranger episode. They have a new box art for everything and new stuff. What I mean by new is that if you guys remember the tiger, beetle, the swordfish, and the octozoid, they had the peg on here to hang it up and they had, they didn't have this whole box design. Now we have the newer design one, which which is very reminiscent to the original MMPR box because they actually include Jaden's face. Now, what, why they didn't include Jaden's face is now the new auxiliary swords, the repackaged ones. The helmets actually come off now. Jaden, of course, comes with a shark sword, and so does he. So does he come in the tiger sword. The the only th the only thing is it's just a head. Well, I'm a, it's a not, movable hand. It's nothing really much. The hand does move. Now, funny thing is that we actually see the Inumaru on the Mega Blade, so it shows that we can actually do that in the show. So just like the original release of these figurines, now the helmets will come off. Sad part is is that they all have the same possibility. We can move the arms, but that's it. They're just they're, they're the same exact thing, just that the newer wave has a removable helmet on the head. The, the box heart actually looks nicer now because it actually has the white and the red to make it look like a more samurai ish. Alright, so now we have the Shark Sword, aka Kuroigami. It looks like Kuroigami, it actually looks like it. But instead, it's not a dinosaur, it's a shark. It has wheels to maneuverability. And, and it does have a pop out button. Yeah, the, the gimmick for this one is that there's a button right here, you pop it out, his head sticks out. That's it. it. It's a really interesting gimmick. Just like every other auxiliary swords, we can actually put a ranger on it. The corresponding ranger riding the attack sword or whatnot is it called. The gimmick is actually pretty okay, but the fact that they don't really do much, it really just kind of downplays the whole idea of the whole role-playing thing. Alright, so now we have the Samurai Megazord with the Shark Zord. Now, of course, this looks weird already because the shark is facing backwards instead of forwards. The helm is the, the legs are now the helmet and the little clip is just to hold it. You can still move it, but I don't suggest you move it any more downward because it the fact that- It weighs much more too, so it kind of makes the Megazord kind of a little bit lopsided. Overall, it's actually a pretty interesting thing. I'm actually surprised that we got this sword. Um, I was actually never expecting us to get Kuroigami, but it looks nice, but it's still the default to it. it. Too bad that the, aren't the, the mouth doesn't open. If it was opening, it would actually make it look better. Alright, so now we have the another band of creation, the Samurai Shockwing Zord. This is just very different. This is not even in Shinkinger at all, so don't even think about it. What it is is that instead of putting Tiger in, we just put the Shock Zord in and that's it. It's still the same as the battle wing, but sadly you cannot connect it to the back. It still operates the same spinning motions on the head. It still and has the tail. it because the all of them have there. wheels and all that. So mainly much all you do is just we, we replace the the Tiger Zord with the with the Shock Zord and that's it. I mean it's unique. I give it that. It's one of those random things that hey we created it. I mean in perspective wise it actually looks nice because the fact that there's already two two ocean animals that actually makes it look kind of cool. If this actually had a tail it'd be actually better. <laughs> Now, alteration-wise for the Kuroigami, 
It is smaller than a Kyuro Origami. Originally, the Kyuro Origami was supposed to be a role-playing weapon. It's the exact same size as the Shinken Maru, but it did cause some problems because since it's so large, it actually doesn't work with the uh, Shinken O. What it did was that the legs still became the helmet, but the only bad part is that the, Shin, the Shinken O had to be standing. You would have to have it standing up in an upright position instead of how we have it. And he actually has uh, he had the spinning disc. We actually have the spinning disc right here, but Doesn't there's nothing you can do. On the original Kyuro, I mean, you can still do the spinning disc. It still, it still had the metal reflective material on the thing, so you could do it. And it also had electronics. Now the only now the only difference between ours is that we can actually take off these weapons, the back and the front, and actually put them on the red on the Rangers. Now I will give Batman credit that we got this. I will also give him credit that there's it, a different. It, it improves. It improved a little because the Japanese one was much bigger, and it was not you were not able to have Shinkano actually do a do a pose with it only stand up. Other alterations are the dark teal blue on the shark zord versus the lighter blue on the kyuryu origami neck due to the addition of the shark tail the handle has been shrunk and the emblem on the rear has been removed the helmet's legs have been shrunken the red paint that splits the lower area of the helmet and the upper crest has not been painted in the black inner edging has been removed and the blue outer edging on the crest has been shrunken down. The rear legs have been shrunken down and the paint application has been moved up, along with the additional pegs for the shark battle wing mode. The rear legs also cannot actually disconnect in order to form the standing base. The black detailing on the leg base has been removed from the US version. The opening and closing neck feature on the shark sword is not on the Kyoryu origami. And finally, the overall color scheme for the Shark Sword is much more lighter versus the Kyoryu Origami's much darker crimson color. Overall, get it if you can, if you can't, then you know, just wait for it. If you can't afford Kyoryu Origami, then just get this. But if you can, then by all means, go for it if you're a really crazy Sentai collector. But for me, it's a decent toy, it's it's an interesting thing to see, and we have a different formation than Japan did. So that's it for our review. Join us next week for the Power Rangers Shogun Megazord. Be come subscribe, we'll see you next week. It's Look. taller. Sadly, this is taller than the than the auxiliary zone. That, now the fact is that why did they do that? I have no I have no clue because it looks weird because he looks like a kid. He actually looks like a figurine. And so. the helmet is much more bigger than what it should be scaled to. Yeah. Do because you have to take it off. All right, so now we have the... I don't even know what the hell this is called. Okay, so now we have a Bandai creation again. This is the Shockwing... The Shockzord Bat... The sh <laughs> Samurai Shockwing. Actually, no. No, yeah, move that. You, no, what the freaking... <laughs> oh I hate my god, that thing sucks.